Okay, welcome back to the renovation. We're just about to commence uh, kind of another big phase of the house. Uh, for the past few months, it's just kind of been smaller projects and uh, and smaller kind of parts of the house. Um, obviously, we did the bathroom last, but this is kind of the next big project to get our teeth into, and probably one of the main bits of the house to finish. Um, there's plenty more to do after that, but this is the one we want to crack on and get done, ideally before Christmas. So this next phase is the hall, stairs and landing, and we're going to kind of split that into two parts. Uh, we're going to strip out the whole lot and replaster, redo all the architraves, the mouldings and paint ready for Christmas, hopefully. Uh, and then in a second sort of phase of work, we're going to remove all of the kind of uh, railings and all the stuff that was put in back in the 60s and 70s around the door, um, around the stairs and put in some nice joinery there. We just haven't got time um, to get all that done and obviously it's a big kind of hit to the budget as well to do all of that woodwork all at once. So I'm going to give you a little look around to give you an idea of what's going on. We're finally, after two years, going to be able to say goodbye to all of the plans that are on the wall here. Um, it did come in really handy when we were doing all the rewiring uh, and we had any other trades coming in that we could just kind of show them on here. We showed all of our socket um, and switches positions that we where we wanted them so that anyone could reference to this. Um, so it's a good little tip to have. Maybe not in your front hallway, but um, it's been helpful. So they're going to come down, all the wallpaper is going to come off, and we're going to see what we're left with. Hopefully the plaster is going to be sound enough in most of the places that it can just be skimmed. So this is a brick wall here, um, and it's still got the lime plaster on underneath here. And back up to a certain point here, you, there's the whole lot of lime plaster has come off the wall. I don't know if you can see that. There's about a good inch or so of movement there where basically it's blown and it's probably due to having this radiator here it's dried it out so much that it's kind of come away from that brickwork. Uh, so where it gets pretty firm is about here. My idea is to kind of cut a nice sharp line along there and we'll lift it off without making too much dust. And once that's off we'll either put another kind of backing coat on there and skim it, or I may just, just because of time restraints, uh, just put a sheet of plasterboard there. It's fine, it's an internal wall, and it's probably just the, the quick and easy thing to do, really. It'll all get skimmed anyway. Um, but once it kind of gets to about this height, I think the rest of the wall's gonna be solid under there. So where we built this doorway, uh, all the stud work's exposed there still, so that's gonna need to be boarded. Uh, I fitted that little stained glass window at the top there. That was the one we found a couple of years ago and finally kind of got that in place. Fortunately, this is the one room in the house where some of the original cornice was left. So that's going to be a, a nice feature to keep. The rest of this will obviously come off. These architraves here are not original. Um, they would have been nice, beautiful, big ones originally, such as this one here. So the, some of them on the inside of the rooms, they were kept. Uh, but on the outside, in the hallway, whenever this kind of renovation happened back in the 60s or 70s, all of this was ripped out and they've put in these skinny ones. So they'll be coming off something nice of going back on. These skirting boards are all going to come off. These are not the original ones. Uh, and we've got absolutely loads of the tall skirting, which we've used in the dining room. Um, this is something I picked up last year or maybe even 18 months ago from another renovation which had kind of fallen through locally and I bought about 60 meters of this stuff um, for about 50 quid so that's a really nice uh, high skirting and much more like this stuff in the lounge which is the original stuff. I also need to do something about this um, I started pulling off all the panelling what well, they used to be panelling all the way down here and then in addition to that, they kind of put some hardboard and that was wallpapered. Um, so I stripped it back so I could see what we had there. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is just batten off here just by um, kind of with some two by ones and then I can board the whole of that. There's a little bit more of the hardboard to take off up there. But that'll just give us a little bit more space than what was already here. It means we can kind of fit some furniture in here. 
Um, I'm probably going to drop a stud wall down in the future, but what I want to do is skim it um, all the way down the bottom of the uh, to the bottom of the stairs, and then we can drop that down in the future, um, and then that way we could have some sort of storage under there. So coming back down on this side of the hallway, originally we planned to do panelling on the lower half of the wall, uh, similar to how we've done in the dining room, and uh, that would have given it quite a nice appearance here, but it would have meant bringing out the wall by another, probably about another inch or two. I mean, it's already quite narrow here, so I think what we're going to do is going to have that high skirting board along the bottom anyway, um, and then we're just going to have a dado rail just for a bit of um, uh, an accent or sort of a feature and hopefully just that that high skirting being the kind of nearly 12 inches that it is any kind of the pushchair wheels or people's boots or whatever are still not going to mark the wall and they can easily be wiped um, and even with the kind of kids coming up and down here on toy bikes or anything this is going to do most of the protecting but that's the plan so skirting dado and large architraves and I'll show you those now. These are the two architrave samples that we've um, had posted to us. There's probably about 12 or more different mouldings that they had. These two were probably the closest to what we already had in some of the existing rooms and they were the widest as well. Um, the, the problem we had is our skirting is already quite uh, thick, it's kind of 25mm uh, thick already so we couldn't have anything that was less than that. Um, this one I would have loved throughout the house. It's a little, probably a little bit over the top um, for the hallway. Plus we've got some areas where it actually won't fit and there's light switches and things. Um, so that wasn't really an option. Uh, however, I might use it for come a, a couple of the external doorways in the future. So we've gone for this one here, which I think is about 95 mil and it's 28 mil thick. So it's still quite a nice thick architrave. So that's the side profile, and there's just a couple of these relief cuts in the back here uh, as well. But that's uh, it's pretty similar to what we've got in the other rooms, uh, albeit probably 10mm narrower. And here upstairs on the landing, same thing again, we've got five doors worth of architraves to uh, swap out. Uh, all this will be stripped back. These seem okay. Um, these are all the lath and plaster walls, and they're kind of a little bit springy in places but I'm, I'm not going to go taking any of that down once it's skim that will kind of stabilize it as well so we'll take off the architraves replace those after it's been plastered again we've got the tool skirting up here and possibly the dado rail long you see how old and faded this wallpaper is there used to be a clock or something here unfortunately there's no plaster work on the landing ceiling um, and we're not going to put anything in immediately, but that's something we can possibly look at retrofitting afterwards using the similar uh, moulding that we've used in the bedrooms. And when it gets to the top floor, I've sealed off the top floor of the house uh, with some insulation for now, just because winter's almost here and we're not going to get around to finishing that conversion or that renovation up there. So I've sealed it off, so any plaster work is just going to be taken to the ceiling level and we'll carry on up from there next year. And this brute of a stair lift has got to come out. Um, unfortunately, it's died halfway down and the motor's burnt out anyway. So I'm gonna to have to uh, see how we can take that apart and get that probably out the window. This spare room here is a good example of where they've taken off the original architrave in the landing side. And then on the inside, they've left the nice ornate stuff. So, you know, it's a bit of a shame, but that's what we're going to be putting back. There's a few kind of lumps and bumps uh, in the walls as well, just where things have either blown or been messed around with in the past. These old switches need to come out, so there'll be a little bit of chipping away and smoothing. And during the rewire, you know, there's a, bit, a few holes that have been poked around. But we'll, as soon as we get this wallpaper off, we can have a look and see what we're dealing with. And last of all, going down the stairs here, all of this will be stripped and plastered. And coming up that side wall, I think I'm just gonna do a wall mounted handrail, similar to what's there now, but um, something a little bit slim line, uh, something that we've kept in against the wall a bit. And that will ideally end up the same height as the new woodwork, which will be replacing all this metal railing. 
So that's our pre-Christmas plan of action and uh, hopefully you can join us for those videos that we'll make along the way. Remember, if you haven't subscribed already, you can do so by clicking the uh, bottom right hand corner uh, or you can click the link below. And remember, if you can, do it yourself and we'll see you next time.